In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to share iCloud storage with friends on iPhone and iPad in 2023. So before I start this video, I want to say make sure you watch the whole video to the end to ensure that you don't miss any steps, because if you do, you might do something wrong and mess it all up. So that being said, pay close attention and watch to the end. So the first thing we want to do is obviously sign in to iCloud on our phone, and then we want to go into the settings section. Once we're in the settings section, we can go to the top here and click on our name. And once we've got to here, we can go down to where it says family sharing. Now, the first time you click on this, it's going to look a little bit different, but it will ask you to invite a person. So invite one family member or something like that to here first. Once you're in here, we can go ahead and add new members. So click add member here. And you can press invite people. And it's going to ask you who you want to invite. Uh, you can send it by message, airdrop, mail, more. Um, it'll give you some prompts there. So let's say you've then added your family to this, uh, your iCloud like this. Then what we can do, if we want to share storage, is we can come down here and go down to, there'll be a button that says iCloud Plus. It looks like this, but it'll be down here at the bottom. So we can click on iCloud Plus. I'm just going to stop sharing this quickly. And I'm just going to go back and go in just to show you. Oops. You can see it's down here. So what I can do is I can click on this. And it's going to say, share iCloud Plus with your family. Your iCloud Plus subscription can be shared with up to six family members. Family members using the free iCloud plan will be upgraded automatically. Anyone with a, plan, anyone with a paid iCloud plan can keep it if they prefer. So then you can click share iCloud Plus with family. Now it's going to ask you who you want to send it to, so you can send them a link to it. And then it should show up in the shared with your family bit. If I go back into this, there, shared with your family. Now I can go in here and it tells you how much each family member is using. So you can see me, I'm using 141 gigabytes. Um, you can obviously from here manage your subscriptions. If you want to add more or less storage, you can do that. And you can also click here and stop sharing with your family if you want to. But that's basically how you do it. There's also a couple other features you can do in here, like purchase sharing, location sharing, things like that, so that um, you don't have to pay for things multiple times. But that's how you do it. So if you found this video useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below that it helped so other people can watch this video and also get helped by this. Thank you for watching.